The Great British Sewing Bee is back! Ten talented home sewers' hopes hang by a thread. I'm all about the finish. I want neat seams, trimmed tapers, vents, impeccable schmutter. I actually used to work on Savile Row. Yes, it was in pret a -Manger, but you can learn an awful lot over a frothy coffee. Patrick's my hero. Well, as you know, I love a big bow, but I'm also partial to a little dicky bow. Have you got your dicky out, Patrick? I find sewing and garment making so relaxing. When I'm sewing, I'm in my happy place. Only ten minutes remaining. <laughs> oh, God! I've cut out two leather sleeves, sewed the neck shut, and I think I've swallowed in a pink case. Well, it looks like that time got the better of you today. And all your time to make was this pale blue polyester placket. Well, Patrick. Hmm? Make do and men, that's my motto. I believe shopping is for mugs. Everything I wear is upcycled and recycled. My coat, that's made from some old carpet. These slacks, disused lino. And this lovely top, I made it from some old underpants. Oh, actually I should have washed that bit. Well it just goes to show, doesn't it? What you can make from a marquee tent, a shower curtain, and a crystal spangled drop strap. Mm, very pretty. I love making frocks and clothes for my little dogs. Especially when I go to Crufts. Yeah, we enter toys, pastoral and terriers. Now I'm working on a little outfit for heel to toe music. <laughs> uh, it's based on Lady Di, in it darling. And it's going to be won by my little Mitzi. Well, this is just perfect for a little Pomeranian or a Pekingese. And there's plenty of puckering. Hmm? Hello, I'm Cabin Crew. You'll often find me on a flight in the cockpit, popping a button back on for the co-pilot. And it's not unheard of on a layover for the captain to keep me up all night fingering his wonky epaulets. Hot drink. Oh. Those taper trousers look a little bit tight. I can see his moose knuckle. Can you imagine? Hmm? Well, I'm heavily involved in the local Amdram. I make all the costumes, and I've been known to tread the boards myself. Mind you, I'm from a very musical family. Even the sewing machine's a singer. Oh, today I'm making a glamorous cocktail dress. Well, we did ask for something swanky, and you've given us Widow Twanky. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh. <laughs> but lovely, sparkly fabrics. Je suis de la Rioja Pion. Avec mon accent, je serai la préférée de mon nogier. Oh, oh. Je peux que ton tissu soit plissé. Well, I love watching footy, drinking real ale and tinkering with me under and going out with the lads. Now, I'm trying to work out this pattern. I've got to add some darts, you know, to enhance the shape of the garment. I'm a little confused. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Well, we did ask for some invisible darts, but I'll see with this. You've really hit the bullseye. <laughs> Super smash <and> great. <laughs> I'm a total geek. You've probably seen me at some of the comic cons around the UK. I actually won awards for my Wonder Woman. I'm a Hufflepuff, of. And this week in the Made to Measure, I'm really playing to my strengths. Well, this would be perfect for a fancy dress party. I've worked out who I am. Are you Peter Parker, Patrick? <laughs> I love making my grandchildren's clothing. Yeah. They're the talk of the village. 
Now I know I shouldn't, but I don't half like using nylon fabrics. Well, the problem with nylon is the static. I think we've got a live one here, Patrick. So tune in to see if everything goes seamlessly.